All right, here we are at 3010 San Miguel. We're walking through the foyer. Immediately to the right are three picture windows um, that do not open, that give the hallway plenty of light. Um, the tile looks like a 20 by 20, or 24 by 24 tile, um, higher end grade. All the walls are smooth, as are the ceilings, which is customary during, uh, for modern construction. We do have a free-floating staircase. It does have um, steel, um, a steel beam running through the middle, and the banisters are steel with um, steel rope going in between. Also, you do have an elevator shaft that goes all the way to the second floor. And moving to the left, we catch a glimpse of the wine room immediately to the left. It has an entrance um, that is opposite the pantry, um, but you can definitely see the entire wine room uh, from the main living area in the kitchen, as we have here. Um, it is climate controlled and it's currently locked. <laughs> so it does have a lock, which is nice. Also hidden uh, near the front of the house is the powder room, which is nice because it's kind of far away from the, uh, from the kitchen and living and dining. It's a little bit more private. Since you do have tile on the floor, you don't have to worry necessarily about, you know, as much about um, people ruining the floors with wet feet because it's tile. Um, also, there's the garage. The garage is super high and it does have a lift that will allow you to put in three vehicles. What's really nice is that the garage door has frosted glass which allows all the natural light that you want to in. Um, it does have a charging station and it does have two uh, sub panels and it does have a water softener. The floor is um, is um, epoxied like mine which is great also the side door um, is where he hides the trash can and the recycler and just takes it out the front here and uh, he has a hose here on the side and there's also the gas meter and the electrical meter and the spectrum box on the opposite side is the um, tankless water heater and the two ACs and also the sprinkler manifold. All right, going back in. He does also have a keyless entry on the side. Going back in, and by the way, these are all eight foot doors, smooth, um, that match the stairs of wood, and they also um, uh, match you know, the modern motif. So moving down further down the hallway before you get to the living and dining and kitchen, it does have a set of three staggered picture windows. It does have uh, automatic blinds. And uh, you can see the elevator really well um, because it's got, um, it's got picture windows on all three sides except for the, the motorized area. The uh, dining, living, and kitchen are all in a great room concept. Um, he, they do have multiple speakers, both in the kitchen and in the living room downstairs. Um, they have an entertainment center, which is a little unique. It does have a fireplace, it is gas, and it does have shelving on either side of the entertainment center. And a puppy, and a subwoofer which is kind of cool. Looks like they've got it all set up with cameras as well, inside and out, in the living area and the outside. Um, the dining room looks big enough to, this table's big enough to hold eight, but if you really wanted to hold 10, you certainly can. And you do have two, three more picture windows that mirror the three picture windows in the foyer that are in the dining room as well for additional light. Um, this time he was able to get all of the blinds raised, which is nice. So we do see the eight foot um, sliding glass doors, which um, gives a great view of the pool and of the patio. Um, there's also a picture window at counter level height that gives additional light into the kitchen. 
Um, the island has um, quartz countertops with the waterfall feature on both sides. It does have storage on the bar side, which is nice. And on the main side, you have a um, microwave that you just push button open and close. So you have a regular size microwave. You have additional storage in different spots around. And you have the dishwasher, single basin sink is stainless steel, which is also customary for modern. You really don't use these for farm. You don't really don't use farm ones for, for the modern look. So coming back this way, opposite the wine room, you have a little mud area. It has plenty of drawers to store stuff and even has upper one, one upper one to store more stuff, which they don't use because you need a ladder to get to the upper two. And then just kind of a, a, a mud area. Um, next you have the uh, pantry. Pantry has, um, also has quartz countertops, same type of motif. Upper cabinets are nice. And also the lower cabinets have um, vented doors so that heat can escape for the AV system. And we have uh, one of the two ACs here. Does all the AV stuff stay? Yeah. Okay, just want to make put, sure. Put it in the contract. All right. They don't want to be surprises the day. Right, <laughs> right, right. So you have an Espresso Wolf machine. This is all Wolf appliances. You have Espresso Wolf, uh, you have the um, steamer. Steamer convection and convection. Regular convection. And the. Um, Who's in the phone? No one. I'm, take, I'm taking notes for him. It's my brain. I forget. So I took some pictures, but I'm like, I really need his video. And I, got, I remember a brochure for you. So that'll help you that too. Help you. So um, the paneling for the fridge matches um, the rest of the cabinetry, which is nice. Um, this uh, is actually a sub zero fridge. You do have a Wolf Gas 36 inch um, range. And then above it is the range hood, and you actually have a little light here that you can turn on and off as well. Um, matching cabinets throughout. The bottom ones are just for minor storage, and they go all the way to the ceiling. This one's pretty deep. It's got the, uh, it keeps all their wine glasses here, and then the upper ones, they really don't use that much, but if you wanted to, you could definitely put a lot of things in here has plenty, plenty of storage. Not to mention the pantry. They do have uh, all pull-out drawers which help um, store all your pots and pans and everything else. And that is the kitchen. There is one outlet with a USB charger on, on the left side, so in case you don't have enough charging going on in the little mud area, you can charge it right here. Um, and that's it for this room. Let's go ahead and go outside. The only thing that I think that is lacking in this house is covered space for the patio. It's most of it's open. You only have this much room to really uh, hide things. So if it was me, I would try and add a tarp or some kind of awning that you can retract so that you can push this out more. I mean, you do have a lot of space before you get to the tree that if for some reason you wanted to extend this patio decking and, and gain more space with an awning, it would be doable. You just have to find out who installed it and so you have the manufacturer of, of the pieces so that everything matches correctly. Um, they do have a horizontal fence going all the way around, vines growing up it, and these privacy bushes that grow really well. Pool is, pool and spa are heated, is that right? Just the pool, just the spa. Just the spa is heated. Looks like a six person spa or more. Spell over. Right, which is nice. Um, I guess these are fountains, right? That shoot out. Yeah, that's fine. So he has one, two, three, three fountains that spill over into the middle of the pool for effect. And all the pool guts are here. 
It's got a little storage bin for pool equipment. And he's got all this stuff over here. Now, one thing he also has is a whole house generator, probably a Generac. So here's the gas line going into the generator. Now, generators vary in size and cost. And uh, depending on what they have it set for, usually AC and appliances are usually the biggest ones. Water heat, well, water heaters, gas, so it doesn't matter. Do you know what they have it? The whole it? first floor. The whole first floor. Yeah. Perfect. And since you have gas, water heater, you don't have to worry about taking a cold shower. All right, let's continue. Um, what are these, Greg, up here? Those are uh, air Okay, so this is the AC. Better, much better looking. So you have one, two, three, four in the main house. They're three times wider, maybe four times wider than the average vent that you find at Home Depot. It'll give you plenty of uh, cooling. Also, I think you said that during the construction, Greg, that that they over-engineered it or something? Yeah, it's all listed in the description. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going up the stairs to the second floor. So once you turn the corner, it goes from a floating staircase to a regular staircase. The risers match the wood. Um, and here's the top of the elevator. And there's more AC vents here. You have a barn door that grants access to the master bedroom. It does not lock. And on the left are the traditional cabinets. The traditional cabinets have pullouts, and they also have they also pull out the uh, the actual clothes, so you don't have to reach in there and scramble to get stuff out, which is really nice. They do have upper cabinets that also go all the way to the ceiling. On the opposite side is the beverage station and more charging ports. So you do have cabinets on the opposite side. Looks like they have a contraption so you can hang upside down wine glasses if you want to hang wine glasses there. And they do have a beverage fridge here. Opposite is a double door entry. Again, all the upstairs are also eight foot. The double door entry opens to the walk-in closet. Walk-in closet has an unbelievable amount of storage and, and um, pull-out drawers and upper cabinets as well that uh, I don't know if I'm talking yeah that you can store even more stuff all the way up here but as you can see this is extremely well laid out and very efficient so efficient that they don't even need a dresser in the master bedroom all they have is the TV a fireplace that's also gas and a bench with two end tables in the bed so it's a very clean look they do have speakers in here. You could add a fan here if you wanted to. I always need to sleep with a fan. The vents upstairs are more of the traditional type than, than in, the, uh, in the main living downstairs. Looks like they do have remote control um, shades as well. They don't have remote control shades above the bed, um, but if you wanted to add them, you could. Um, looks like they've got two switches for the, the night lamps. And these are also solid core doors, just so you can know, they're nice. So in the master bath, you also have 24 by 24 tile. This 24 by 24 tile goes all the way to the ceiling. You do have speakers here. The tub has wood paneling, like not just shiplack, but it looks like actual, you know, wood that you would put on a deck, which is nice. Um, you could hang a chandelier there. The tub is a um, uh, freestanding, looks to be six feet. And then opposite is the vanity. Each vanity has its own mirror. It has tile going all the way to the ceiling and it has um, 
uh, quartz countertops, undermount sink, etc., etc. And um, the shower is a pass through shower, kind of like a car wash. It does have uh, a um, rain shower head, plus two dual shower heads, plus a hand spray, and a super long niche to store stuff. And there's the drain. And then you have the water closet. And inside the water closet is a linen closet and a place for cat litter. You do have uh, lighting underneath the cabinetry in the master bath. Heading outside. Now this does have a shade. You have a balcony. The balcony has an outlet. The balcony has a water spigot. It does have wood paneling similar to the uh, in front of the tub in the master bath in the ceiling, just like downstairs. Then the trim molding um, is actually quite unique. And I'm not sure if it's wood or if it's part of the drywall, but it it's actually looks cut out uh, from the drywall to make it appear like trim molding. But yeah, this is, this is actually wood. This is wood, and I think this is drywall. So is this actual wood trim, or is this part of the drywall that was cut out? It is wood, so you have drywall and wood, that's what I thought. So um, moving to the other bedrooms, you do have the laundry room. The laundry room has, uh, and they do have a gas dryer, even though it's they've got a 220 outlet that you could put a, um, an electric dryer, they chose gas because they have a gas outlet, which is, I have that as well. I like gas better. Upper cabinets, and then you have the mystery door that has AC number two in it. And these look like ethernet wires. Did you ever find out what these are? And then moving across, you have another floor outlet here. And this is at the top of the, um, uh, above the foyer. And then you have the guest bath. Again, large rectangular tiles throughout both the floor and the walls and floor of the shower. It has a, a niche, not as wide, but definitely taller. It does have a single, um, single hose, but it is a shower, uh, it is a um, shower arm, so you can use it either as a head or, and not move it or pull it out. Uh, definitely got more, and oh, there we go, we have more under cabinet lighting here. You do have drawer banks, um, tile going to the ceiling again, nice uh, reflective mirror with lights around it, plenty of cabinets. Bedroom two, which is the larger of the guest rooms, it does have another picture transom window above the bed. And it does have three other windows in the front that do have the customary shade. Unlike the other room, it does not have any speakers in it. And the closet does also have built-ins. Going all the way across, which is nice. Bedroom three. It's the smallest of the three bedrooms. This one doubles as an office, and it does have speakers. It does have two um, transom windows, and it does have one regular window. And this one actually has a walk-in closet. You could put a TV on this wall if you want to, because they have another outlet raised here with a floor outlet with ethernet as well. And here's the closet for the third bedroom. Its current configuration is that to hold office supplies, but you can put in bars if you want to, or reconfigure it if you want to, to hold clothes. And that wraps it up.